was scary, obviously. Um, it was kind of weird, just I can't believe this is kind of happening to me. I'm I was 39 at the time, and so that seemed uh, probably too young, and I was too fit and too active and not obese or anything like that. I wasn't, um, if, if, if you put me in a lineup, I probably wouldn't be chosen as the obvious heart attack patient. The day that I had my heart attack, the only reason that I knew it was going on instantly was because of this. If you go ahead and lay down with your head on the pillow. When I decided to come take the, the Heart Saver CT scan, it was super easy. And I think I was in and out in total of 30 minutes with the scan itself is probably seven, maybe 10 at best. Completely non-invasive. You leave your clothes on, I think you even leave your shoes on. And uh, you simply lie down on the bed and the, the machine takes pictures of your heart. That is the only reason that I even fathomed that I was at risk for a cardiac event was because of this machine over my shoulder. What we're looking for when an individual undergoes a heart saver CT is calcified plaque in the arteries that give blood supply to the heart. And calcium blooms on a CAT scan. It shows up as white on a grayscale, and it's very easily detectable. But when an individual actually sees this calcified plaque in their arteries, we can show them their images and say, this is the plaque that's growing in your arteries. Oftentimes that is, uh, has a large impact on the patient and oftentimes incentivizes them to remain compliant with their medications, diet, and exercise. You'll go in and out of the machine a few times. Earlier we could detect signs of premature heart disease, the more likely we are to break the natural progression of that disease. So David um, was very proactive in terms of his heart health. Uh, he came here, he got his heart saver CT and was able to identify himself as a premature former of heart disease and that allowed him to uh, continue to maximize his uh, diet and lifestyle. The reason that I was able to nip it, if you will, so quickly was, was really because of this machine because I had that indication that, hey David, you're at risk. Heart disease doesn't discriminate, so heart disease not only is the leading cause of death in the United States, it's the leading cause of death worldwide in men and women. So as a general guideline, if you're a man between the ages of 40 and 65 or if you're a woman between the ages of 45 and 70, it's a good idea to see where you stand. Heart Saver CT has some of the most minimal amounts of radiation than any CT available. You also don't need contrast to identify this calcified plaque, so there's no IVs, there's no screening um, blood work to make sure your kidneys can handle a contrast load because there's no contrast necessary. So not all CAT scans are the same. Have a good day. Without the Heart Hospital of Austin and the Heart Saver CT scan, I, I wouldn't have had the knowledge that I have today and that I had at the day of my heart attack to allow me to make quick decisions. I'm grateful to what I learned here and from the doctors here and the technicians here because it allowed me to save my life.